What up guys? I am so excited today and so happy because today is my very, very first boxing lesson. I've always wanted to box ever since I was in junior high, high school. Like when you watch Rocky and all those boxing movies, people, they just move so good. Like Roy Jones Jr., Mike Tyson, he's like ducking under, bam, bam. It just seems like a superhero. You just feel so invincible, you know? But I never really had access to that. I had a lot of access from, you know, Asian neighborhood to karate kung fu taekwondo that kind of stuff i would never had access to just strict boxing even when i got into muay thai and kickboxing um i was still very interested in the hands because when you see people fight traditional kickboxing they just stand on the center line then you see the guys like anderson silva who have, have a lot of western boxing experience they're throwing their shin kicks and stuff and knees and elbows but they're also like like dodging like superhero status so i was like man i always wanted to learn and I asked my good friend Shane from Fight Tips, I'm like, yo, do you have a boxing coach you recommend? Yo, you gotta go with my boy PJ. I didn't know what to expect. A lot of Muay Thai and kickboxing does cover hands. So I was like, am I just gonna learn the same stuff that I already knew? Hell no. PJ blew my mind. It was so awesome. If you guys are in the LA area, I highly recommend hiring him as your coach. So we started off with these accelerometer things and I'm like, what the hell are these things? And then he's like, today, since it's your first time, we're gonna test. We're gonna test your speed, we're gonna test your intensity, and then we're gonna test your volume. Like, how many punches can you throw in, in 60 seconds? So you're gonna drop the ball, yeah. make sure it gets to eye level, yeah. as I extend my hand. So the first step is one, two. Hand comes back to my face at all times. So drop the ball, hand comes back to my face. So one, two. My third step is gonna be extending my left hand. So one, two, three. As I extend my left hand back, my fourth step is hand comes back to my face. So one, two, three, four. Fifth step, switch hand. So again, five step drop. One, two, three. Catching it at a full jab. Bring back to my face four, switch the hand. I'm gonna start carrying around a ball. Why do you think Rocky did it, man? Oh, see Rocky. That's true. He's always got a ball, huh? Oh, a I never knew why. I never knew why. The action, always catching. I'm thinking 40 seconds here. Right. Just drop the ball with the right hand. Boom. Catch left. There it is. First time the winner. Oh, not bad. Two, three, four. Uh, ah. Stop. Keep your hand on time. Okay, okay, so the first one. When I drop the right hand, the hand is back here. Snap it out. Okay, so snap that right shoulder out. Try to get the ball. Oh, shit. Yep. Like I said, we do this usually in front of the wall so the ball goes in where it's going to bounce their back. And we don't want it to pull. Yep. Not bad, Barbara. Now, two balls! Gotta get two. Gotta get more. More effective. Okay, so again, there's double moves. We can go on and on for about two more levels. We're gonna drop both balls at the same time. Because both of those are good. We're gonna drop both of them. We're gonna catch both. Of them. So drop. Keep your eyes on the first one if you can, and then transition your eyes to the second one. But again, try your best not to just do this. Drop the tie. So you're going jab, drop. Together. Go. I'm gonna catch my right hand with my left, catch my right with my left, or go the other way. Don't worry, you'll be judging in no time. Here we go, 40 seconds, last one, I promise. I promise. You're hitting it at least. It's a body shot. Oh. Wrap your hands up real quick. Let's go to work. Now the. It's just tight, huh? Over the knuckle. 
and then I'll get your thumb. Because these are a little shorter, about 120, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the finger, make a fist for me, squeeze, open it back up. We're gonna go through the second one, make a fist for me, open it back up. Good, and one last one. We'll go through there, make a fist. Good, and whenever we have left, we're gonna use that access to go around, open that fist up. Good. So you're gonna give me one minute. Now remember, you told me the number one thing was the cardio, okay? I'm gonna warn you in advance. This is not gonna be easy in your cardio, okay? This will not be easy. But again, if I know where you're at, I can kind of kind of yeah. get some guidance for what we need to do and where we're gonna go. True. But it's all about the foundation. So fight for this. No judgment, no shame. It's it's me and your boy Justin right now here. <laughs> yeah. He ain't gonna say nothing. Okay. okay. Here we go. We got one minute here. Now I'll demonstrate for you real quick. We're gonna go one, two, non stop. Bring the hands back to the face as fast as you can. The time will be right here. We'll be looking at this purple number. Yeah. I don't want you to keep looking back and right and left. Just focus your mind. I'll give you countdowns every 15 seconds. Am I trying to throw my hips into it too? Try to turn the hips. I want you to just try to get the hands on as fast as you can. Okay. I'm looking right here literally for just essentially a cardio base. Yeah. For how fast you can get that outward. Got it. Here we go. One minute on the clock. Five, four, three, two, let's hit it. Go. There you go. Come on. Good pace. Good pace. Breathe. Yeah. And 10 seconds down. Chill it. You're at 100 already. Come on. Push. Keep breathing. 45 seconds to go. You're on a great pace right now. There it is, Sam. 40. You're already at 150. Come on. Yeah, Bart. I like this, baby. Come on. 36 seconds. You're already at 200. Keep it going. Come on. Turn it on. You got this. Keep going. Keep going. Keep breathing. 30 seconds left. Breathe. 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 Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Keep breathing, baby. Come on. 25. You got 24 seconds left. Come on. You got this. Come on. Push. Push. Last 15. What you got? Come on. Get more. Get more out of this. Keep going. You got to breathe. Here's 10 seconds. Get the 400. Come on. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. <laughs> Two, last one. Ah. Yeah. 362. Is that good? That's amazing. Come on, baby. Walk, 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 walk. Gotta get that lactic acid going. Start walking around. Move. I'll give you a minute and a half. I already got knocked out. I know. You killed it, though. I know. Keep walking. Keep walking. That was good. Thank you. Whole lot more fun. Are you out of this one? Yeah. This is a good video. How you feeling? God damn, it's fucking hard. I have never done that in my life. 60 seconds. As many punches as possible. Oh my. I hit 360, and he said that's pretty good. So that's three, almost three punches, almost two punches a second. Is that good? Is 360 good? That was really good. I was really impressed with what I saw. Okay. Right now with where you're at, right, how your body feels, I'm gonna give you another 45. Okay. You got more rest. Okay. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you. Don't worry. Uh, very impressive. Your pace in the first 40 seconds is killing it. Your last 20 though, when you started to actually feel the vert, and then you pause, you stop. You were on pace to get 400 plus. So Easy. I shouldn't have stopped? Shouldn't have stopped. Try to fight through the burn? Fighting through that burn and okay. that feeling that you can't go anymore. That's when you got to just sit down in the hips and muster up the strength from your core and from your back muscles. That's oh. it. It's all about that heart, baby. But you did great, man. I... 
I try my hardest. I, I'm proud of my Yo, butt burns. Yeah, you should feel those hamstrings and those boots. Yeah, I didn't even know. Alright, let's go to round number two. Yeah, we're gonna do essentially what they do for MLB batters or uh, pitchers. When they're going through the league, they wanna see how fast that fastball actually is. Yeah. So in essence, we're gonna see how fast your fastball is. We're gonna see your right hook or your left hook, whatever is the most powerful for you. In a single shot, we're gonna see how many miles per hour you can accurately throw. So what I wanna see you do is rotate into the hips. Sit down. We're gonna take a single shot every single time. You no punch. I'm gonna reset the clock. I'll make some adjustments. See, like I tell you to turn the hit more, get the hand around. But we're gonna take about 20 punches, and we're just gonna see how hard you can throw, baby. So I like to say, help people start off with the right hook. Our four. Sit down into the legs. Turn. Everything you got into the hip. Okay? You look powerful. Here we go. You look so powerful. Hey, listen. I'm gonna teach you, man. What? First shot. Here we go. Let me see what you got. Give me a right hook on you. Not bad, Bart. That's really impressive. 32, 9 miles per hour. Right there. What's that? It's pretty That's shitty. really good. No, anywhere between. It's like a teenage girl? It's a little higher than that. <laughs> okay. It's like a teen mom. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> anywhere between 25, I'm saying about 38. You're killing right now. Honestly, a lot of my professional fighters are punching between 30 and 35. Oh! oh! But that's their regular hook. That's all right. Hard. And it's also not from lifting weights right before they get into their first training set. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 I did lift weights first. There we go. Second set. Let's see what you got, baby. Do that again. Like I said, you got about 18 more shots. Not bad. 32. Um, keep the wrist on the ground a little bit more. Let's rotate out a little wider. On impact, squeeze that wrist. Okay? Still really good, Mark. Right now, it's hitting 30 miles an hour. Here we go. Second and third one. Let's rock and roll. Baby, and wide. You got plenty of time. Take that hit. Yeah. That's a little kind of came up here. Yeah. And before you make contact, you already finished the punch. Got right. it. Think about this. Think about this next one. Yeah. You landed that pool right here. Hit me here. Thinking about this. So you're punching through. through. Follow through it. That's where you're gonna get the full power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that whole body. You're doing good so far. Here we go. Rock and roll. Punch through it. There you go, 32 six. Not bad. Let me see the left hook now. I want to see what the left's looking like. And again, three, two. Go ahead. All right, you got the power in both the left and the right, Bart, so far. Keep that left hand up a little higher. Again. Seven. Down a little bit. Keep the elbow behind it, right here. Whatever the elbow is not in contact with the punch, I lose steam. Think about where the angle is. My trajectory is going up there. You get the elbow behind it, the whole force of my body is going to free power. Alright. Last two. Make it count. Everything right here. Whatever you feel the best. I want to see one right hook, one left hook. Because both of them are pretty comparable. And we'll go with the final shot. Uh, 33.2 on the right. Let's see what that left is. Final left. Oh, that was a bad one. That was 22. I want a better one than that. Give that last left. There it is. Oh, hey, Mark, not that bad. Not that, not that far for me right now, man. This is really fun. Really fun. I've never tracked the speed of my punches before, so it's cool to know how fast I'm punching. Because you know what I like about weights is like you bench 135, 185, 225, 315. You know if you're getting stronger with punches, like it feels better, but I don't know if I'm clocking in stronger or faster. And uh, with this track right here, you see that blue beep, uh, blue light. It's letting him know how fast I'm punching and it's cool to know where I line up where everyone else in the world, like teen moms or pro fighters, because that's why I got into powerlifting in the first place. Like I was the strongest, probably the top five strongest guys at my gym at uh, 24 Hour Fitness and I was the only guy repping out 405 at the time. And then I was like, how strong am I against everyone else? And that's why I got into powerlifting to see where I ranked up. And now it's cool, I get to see how I rank up with other people, but in another sport.
we're getting ready for the same exact, the same exact feeling that you had after you got done the first one. Yeah. Okay. But this will be the last hard thing, I promise. Okay. okay. Now, all out intensity score. So what this is going to factor in now is the frequency from the punches. Okay. How hard they are. Okay. And how fast they are. Okay. So ideally, you're going for the knockout. Here. Okay. That's what you're looking for. Knockout. Okay. So the first 20 seconds will be smooth, but after that, you got to fight through. Sit that hip down. Drive from your body because you will feel fatigue here. So, all out effort, threes and fours. Power shots, turn that body. Non stop, bring the entire round. Okay, we're looking for a minute here. Give me that number. I'm looking for you, anywhere between 700 and 2,000 of a number. It's not no punches, it's a sword I'm going to give you. Now, in that little, in that first round, so when you, when you threw 362 punches, you had an intensity score of 941 for that. So you weren't close with all your power though. But you threw a lot of punches. Yeah. So try to replicate that now with all power here. So threes and fours, one minute on the clock. I promise it's the last hard part. Am I trying to throw uh, as much frequency too? Or as many punches as you can. Yeah, so high frequency, high power. Oh shit. Yeah, that's why this is a hard one. That's why you do it at the end, bro. Okay. Alright, so last one, I promise. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Non-stop. Come on, dig. There you go, Bar. 200. Ha. Ha. Come on, breathe. Ha. Ha. 300 in the first 10, 10 seconds. Ha. Get it. Ha. Ha. 500. Ha. Ha. 45 seconds. Ha. Go. Ha. Dig. Ha. Dig. Ha. Come on. Ha. 40 seconds. Ha. Keep going, Mark. Ha. Don't stop. Ha. Don't stop. Ha. Ha. You're at 100. Come on. Ha. Dig. Ha. Here's the last 30 ha. now. Come on, 30 seconds. Go. What you got? Ha. There you go. Ha. Keep going, bud. Ah, come on, keep turning on. You got 25 you to go. Ah. Breathe. Ah. Breathe and push. Ah. Breathe and push. Ah. 20 seconds ah. left, Bart. You're already at 1,000. Come on, ah. get more. Ah. Everything else ah. here is icing on the cake, baby. Come ah. on, 15 seconds. Ah. Keep pushing. Ah. Keep pushing. Ah. Ah. 10. Ah. That's it, 9. Come ah. on, 8. Ah. 7. Ah. 6. I know. Fight ah. forward. 4. 3. 2. Wow. Ah. One point. Ah. What do you hit? Not bad. 1.36K. Pretty good power, baby. Now watch him on the way out now. <laughs> Take a couple minutes to recover. <laughs> It's all bloody inside. It's alright. Well worth it. It's all broken. Well worth it. There's no bones. Hard parts done, bro. 15 seconds, we got footwork. Hey. I do. I do. Sometimes I actually do feel bad for people when they're like, yo, I want to train. I want to get better. Yeah. Really? Oh, how bad do you want to get better? Uh -huh. We've been Good doing question. this for 15 years now. Good question. Working with actors, MMA fighters, UFC fighters, boxers, NFL fight players. And everybody wants to get better. But when it comes time to put that hard work in, baby, only the few show up. Doing good so far. Speaking of which, let's build that foundation. Here we go. First one, simple and light. We got five steps. One, two, three, four, five. You already showed me a pretty decent balance and a base for what you need to do. Yeah. But now we've got to build it. So repetitions on repetitions on repetitions. First one, really simple. All I want you to do is you're going to go in and out. Now there's five. Now each one, just like Lomachenko, I'm going to make a small little micro adjustment. So the my first cycle adjustment here, there, there, there. There. Now it's small and subtle, but it's literally just a movement of my foot. I want to always stay in the ball to my feet. When I'm bouncing, it's like when I'm jumping a rope. Okay? I'm going to get a progress bounce and move. So really simple. You're just going to go for 20 seconds. You're going to go in, 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 in. So I'm going to start in the far left. Hands up, elbows tight. Both feet are going to bound. I'm going to land nice and controlled. My left foot and my right foot land together. Not one and then the other. Okay, I want to have that rocking motion because if I'm off balance, 
I can't fire back. If I'm going forward, I have to reset, adjust, balance, and then there. If I'm always flowing, balanced, I can move pretty seamlessly, okay? I see. That's the motion. So we're gonna go in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. All the way in, non-stop. I said 20, that's it, 20 seconds. That's all I need from you, ready? Three, two, let's go. Same exact thing. Okay, okay. South Paul, give me 20 seconds, ready? You look so good. I appreciate that, bro. My job is to make everything look easy. <laughs> Three, two, one, let's go. Easy work. Ooh, it's perfect South Paul. This is go with the beat. This is the song the move. Go with the beat. Hand snaps out, yeah. back to my face. One, left hand. Perfect, good. Your two is your right hand. Cross. Perfect, good. Three, left hook right there. 
Not bad. Four, right hook right there. Perfect. Five, left uppercut underneath. Perfect. Six, right uppercut underneath. Nice, Bart. Good. I like what I'm seeing. Okay, so now warm up is always going to be the same until you can get this through softball orthodox. Eyes closed and eyes open. Woo! In less than six minutes, we're going to keep doing it the same and same and same. Here we go. So the first one. One, one. Good. One, two. Nice. One, three. Same hand. Perfect. One, four. Opposite hand. Nice. One, five. Same hand. Good. One, six. Opposite. Not bad. Two. Right hand. Good. Two, one. Nice. Two, two. Double it up. Good. Two, three. Opposite. Good. Two, four. Same hand. Nice. Bar two, five. Opposite. Good. Two, six. Same hand. Nice. Three. Left hook. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> I, forgot, I forgot my left and right. It's all right. Three. Good. Three, one. Same hand. Nice. Three, two. Opposite. Beautiful. Three, three. Double that hook. Nice. Three, four. Opposite. Beautiful. Three, five. Same hand. Nice. Three, six. Turn that hip. Beautiful. There it is. Four. Four, one. Same Four, two. Same hand. Four, three. Opposite. Four, four. Same hand. Four, five. Opposite. Good. Four, six. Same hand. Nice. Five, left. Good. Five, one. Same hand. Good. Five, two. Five, three. Up and around. Five, four. Opposite. Five, five. Double it up. Five, six. Six. Six, one. Six, two. Same hand. Six, three. Six, four. Up and around. Six, five. Six, six. Double it up. Ah, good. Five, six is non-stop. Nice and light. Uh, is it cross like yep, this? Always on the cross. Okay. Yep. Six, five, four, three, two, three, four is non-stop. Six, five, four, three, two, one, two is non-stop. Seven. Close. Four, three, two, one. Here we go. Two, three, two. Cross across. Give me a two, three, two. Now, I'm going to throw a left hook. You're going to bob and weave. You're going to drop your hips, rotate underneath. Two, three, two again. Okay? So two, you three, two. Slow. Go slow. Two, three, two. You're going to bob and weave, and you're going to do that again. Six more times. When I'm bobbing and weaving, am I shifting my feet, or it's just If you can, because, because this is always going to be part of the warm-up, I yeah. prefer you just go two, three, two. We're all in place. Two, okay. three, two. If you need to, a lot of people, they got to do the full circle around me, and I'm okay with that. I got no problem. Whatever makes your way of learning What's, better. What makes me a better boxer? Ideally, having the combination and be able to flow between both. Okay. Not being stuck into any okay. kind of pattern or box. Again, okay. if I can only train with one hand, when I gotta use the other one, I'm screwed. Yeah. But if I'm comfortable moving or standing in place, yeah. I'm a better fighter. So, two, three, two. Okay. You're gonna do this seven times. Bob and weave. One. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. That's six. Last one. We're gonna go the other way now. Three, two, three. So you're gonna land the hook first. Hook, what? cross, hook. Sure. You're gonna bob and weave to your left, my right. Do it again. That's it. Five more times. Four more. Three more. Two more. One more. Last one, best one. All right, so we go. Last part of the warm up. You're gonna go block body, elbows in tight. This is a warm up. This is all the warm up. Like I said, elbow down to the body. You're gonna block when I throw a hook. You're gonna then come back. Six, three, two. So I'm trying to land a shot right over to your liver. You're gonna block it with the elbow. Don't turn so much because then your head's exposed. What I want you to do ideally is keep your hand there. So if you still have my face protected, just drop your elbow to the hip right there. Boom. Now I can't hit your body shot. And also your face is protected. And the more important part about this, you're compact, you're loaded to be able to throw another punch. So you can throw anything from there. But if I just put my hand down, face is wide open and exposed. Don't want to be in a position to get hurt. Okay? So I'm gonna get there quick. Make sure it's a sick. Last one. Last one. Other way. Block body. This side. We ain't done yet. I started throwing random well, I told shit. you this is all the warm up, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Elbow the other side. Block body. When I throw that left, come up with a five, two, and then a three. Perfect. You got that six more times. Five, two, three. Oh, five. Okay. Block body. Five, two, three. 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 Three more. Last one. Two. Again. Last one, best one. Relax. That's your warm up. I think all my punches are looking the same. At the end, they, they, they do sometimes tend to do that. 
Uh -huh. So Bart, let's finish it out. Let's go over to a bench and let's finish it out this okay. summer. Wow. Actually, I can do it right there. Somewhere with her. If you got you on video, you might as well be doing it. Yeah. Uh, where is it? Remember, your left goes to my left, your right goes to my right. Non-stop, just like that. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One. Now, this is the finish line, Bart. Don't worry, I got your count, champ. All you gotta do is keep pushing yourself. You come to get better every day. You got people that are watching, that are allowing to see your progress, to see your growth, to see your pain, to see your hurt. Keep fighting through it, baby. Let's go. Come on, that's how you start the Wednesday morning all right. Hey, you only got 100 punches to go. Come on, breathe. In your nose, out your mouth. Day one. You told me you wanted to get better. I came here to make you better today. Let's get better. Let's become a better fighter. Let's become a better boxer every step of the way. Give me 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Easy peasy. How you do it, that was so good. Let's go, relax. So good. Let the arm relax. Let the shoulder relax. Do your best right now. Let your body recover. Breathe. The hard work has been done. You are prepared to enjoy the rest of this Wednesday. Yes. You become a better fighter. Yeah. Stronger man right now. I don't know. Yeah, I feel that pain. Here's the fun part. When you get done. See the other hand? Go backwards. Dude, you guys out there, if you guys feel kind of like stuck in your comfort zone, you're like, man, I want to do something else. Take that extra step and do it, man. Cause it, it, I think it, it'll really like reinvigorate you and it just feels good. Like now I'm like, man, I'm looking forward to every Wednesday. I really like it. I can see how could, that could transfer over to other shit. Even playing basketball, like having a faster reaction time, bam, get the ball, you know? So thank you guys for following. And you know, you guys are the best. You guys follow me, do everything. When I act the fool at a weightlifting competition, take off my shoes, to when I power lift and I fail miserably, to me getting beat up by Shane and now learning how to box you guys follow me on my athletic journey and even though the brand's called barbell brigade what it really is is how can we challenge ourselves to do better in life with physical endeavors and that's what it, that's that's what the brand should be called challenge yourself for the be raw in gym atmosphere destroy Everything. Everything. That's what Brigade really stands for. So if you guys like that uh, motto that we thought up for the last three years, go to barbabrigade.com and see you guys next time. Peace.